Hey everybody, um, so I'm, uh, I wanted to make some jungle scatter stuff. Um, I, uh, um, I've been collecting like plastic plants for years now and like I've never gotten around to this project where um, I would just see like something at like the pet store or whatever, you know, like a little piece of aquarium um, like, uh, uh, plastic aquarium plants or like just different little plants where like you're at like the thrift store or whatever. And then you see like a bunch, like a, a plastic plant and you're like, oh, I could use that to make like a, you know, something for, for my game out of. And like, I, I had like a box full of this stuff and I finally, finally got around to making some, uh, jungle scatter. But um, this stuff is like, it's really, I think it's really, really useful, really utilitarian because there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with, like you could use it for line of sight blocking where it just, you know, plops down or you, or you, you know, have like some modular, not modular, but just some like little scatter stuff that you can plop down and then reuse and move around however you want. And then it has line of sight blocking, or you could even use it where um, if you make some little like pathways through it, then you could use it as like cover, you know, and like have, or some, some uh, like um, line of sight blocking and then obscuring kind of like cover, you know, terrain kind of stuff. So I, I didn't do any of that, but I think that's what I'm going to do next um, is uh, like like this, where you can actually, you could hide, put somebody behind it, and then they could see through it, and then they would be obscured, you know, like hiding behind it. So that if you're shooting into it, it's hard to see into it, but if you're shooting out of it, then you can, you know, hide in it. Um, but I think I'm, I might make some more, I mean, I'm going to make more, but I've got lots of plastic plants. Um, yeah, but, uh, so anyways, um, I'm going to show you my technique for making these things and super, super useful because you can use it in any kind of game. You can use it in a fantasy game, like a, a near future, you know, sci-fi, like uh, modern, just whatever, like pirates, you name it. So super, super useful uh, piece of pieces of scatter to make for your games. So all right, let's make some uh, some jungle scatter stuff. Hey everybody, uh, so I'm gonna make some scatter stuff. Um, so my method isn't too different from other people's. Um, this is just how I like to do it. So I've got some um, a half millimeter thick styrene, and uh, and then um, you could do this with like cereal box or you know MDF or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but this is just going to be. This is going to be the little flat uh, base layer. And I like this stuff because styrene is really tough and durable, but it's also kind of easy to work with. Um, like you can cut it with scissors and it's going to make a really tough layer for, uh, for the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some, I'm going to cut some shapes. Um, just kind of like random. Uh, little shapes and then <clears throat> this is um, so I don't want to make these too big because I want these to be like scatter pieces I want them to be like big enough to do some line of sight blocking but not huge you know not like a foot long or whatever just like about you know like six inches um, so and then um, I'm using this is a half half inch foam board 
And then this is not like dollar store foam board. This is this, so this, this doesn't just come off like a sticker. It's a little bit more substantial. This is more like, you know, um, uh, like Hobby Lobby or like Michael's foam board, you know, like um, office supply store. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just make some little shapes to go with that. Uh, and then I'm using a, a utility knife. And I'm gonna leave all the backing on one side and then I'm gonna kind of shave off like the, the top and then pull the, um, take the backing off of the top. So I, um, let's see, do you wanna pay attention to this? So the, um, the foam board, I do want it to be a little bit more thick and I'll explain why later. Okay, I'm gonna cut some of these down. Okay, so I've got, uh, I've got this shape, right? And then I took the backing off of one side and then I left it on the other because this is gonna be the protective layer for uh, super glue. So um, you could use like PVA glue, you know, it's, it's gonna stick. Like it, there's a lot of different types of glues that you can use. I just like using super glue because it's fast um, and then it works pretty good. So, oops, I'm gonna just put a blob down and then sandwich these in here. But so um, when you do this, don't put super glue on this side because super glue will melt foam. Um, so that's already like, that already doesn't wanna budge. Um, so, and then sometimes I save these, these little bits, because you can use them to make like mini bases, you know, like this. This is actually cork, but I mean, you can do the same, same kind of thing with these. So now, um, I want to just kind of, uh, like bevel off the sides of these. And then I don't want to cut towards myself. I'm going to cut away. Um, so I am going to like shape these so that, um, the, uh, like I'm going to actually sculpt these because I'm not going to put any like spackle, you know, or anything on top of these. I'm just going to leave these foam so that I can insert all of the, the plastic, um, like little bits and bobs, the, um, um, all of the like plastic plants and stuff that I've found to stick to these things. So, and then also, you know, these are nice and lightweight and, um, these are, you know, these are nice. So, um, and then I'm not even, you know, I'm not gonna really, um, well, I might. I was thinking I didn't want to paint these, but I probably will. I probably, I'll probably just seal it with something like, um, some, uh, like Mod Podge and, uh, paint, you know? Um just because some of this black stuff could show through. It wouldn't be the end of the world if it did. But um, yeah, I'm gonna like shake these into little, like very slight kind of hills, like mounds. Okay, and now um, 
I'm just uh, I'm just taking like a, a pretty tough grit of sandpaper for a little yeah just a little bit of a uh, yeah sandpaper <laughs> and then I'm gonna kind of uh, just knock down those those hard edges. All right, so um, I uh, <laughs> I have, have a few things here. Um, I have these little uh, painters pyramid things, and then this is just a little cutting mat thing. Um, so I want to keep like the edges up off the sides. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put these pieces up on here, and then. Um, when it's cold out, I drink a lot of tea. Um, <laughs> so that's what this is, is just spent um, black tea. And uh, yeah, right here. Um, so, and then what I've, what I've mixed up is um, half and half um, cheapo craft paint. And then this is like 50 cents a tube. This is just a, uh, apple barrel uh, burnt umber paint and then and then uh, about half PVA glue. So this is just like a Elmer's kind of like a school glue, book binder glue. What, polyvinyl acetate, is that what it is? Thanks. Okay, so now um, I'm just gonna mix this all together and then I might need a little more glue. Yeah. I think it needs more glue. I just keep, I keep uh, PVA glue in like an old shampoo bottle that kind of stands up on its own. And like, you know, you know, squeeze it out like that. So, okay, so that's about like half and half paint to glue. And um, I don't think it's really, I don't think um, this, this part is gonna be visible. I'm gonna try and cover everything with um, the like flocking. So this is just gonna, this is gonna seal everything down, seal the foam, and it is like porous, so it's gonna kind of soak into it. Um, so I'm just gonna go over this. All right, and then um, before that, has a chance to dry. Um, so let's see. Okay, so before this has a chance to dry, now I'm gonna sprinkle, um, I'm gonna put the, the tea leaves on there. Okay, and um, I can fold this up in half and then dump it back in there to reclaim uh, tea. Blech. All right, so I'm gonna let these dry. Um, I'm gonna paint, but you know, do the same thing with all of these. Paint them up like this and then cover them with tea. And then I'm gonna come back to it once that's all dry. Okay, 
So I let these guys dry overnight. I don't want to handle the stuff too much, the tea leaves, um, because it's not totally, it's not totally sealed down yet. I mean, it's sticking to here, but once I'm done, everything is going to be sealed down. So what I have, <laughs> and then I've actually, I've been collecting this stuff for like years, is um, I have a big old box full of um, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Random like uh, plastic plants that uh, you know I got off like, uh, you name it. Um, yeah, so show you some some options like um, these are uh, I don't know what these what they I think I got these off of Amazon and then they market them as like um, cake cake toppers or um, uh, like for model railroad scenery stuff and then the same with these these are just like little you know, you can get these off like Amazon or eBay, um, but they're just like little plastic plants. These are very, very inexpensive. They're very cheap. You can get like a big bag of these for like a, a couple of bucks. I would say the least economical option, the most expensive option are these stupid little aquarium plants. Like they, these things are expensive. Um, you get very few of them for a, uh, you know, a few bucks, but, um, these are like really like colorful, so they can kind of add a, like a cool pop of color. Um, and then let's see, these are, are actually, these are for sure model railroad. Um, and then, um, the most, uh, the most popular scale of model railroad is um, HO scale, which is half of O scale. And then O scale is actual, it's like heroic miniature scale. So sometimes these are not the right size, but they still read okay. Um, you know, there's gonna be like tons and tons of flashing on these. And, uh, and then the plastic is really like glossy and stuff. So you probably want to do something to like paint these or something before you try to stick them down to stuff. Um, but what I like about these too is that they have these little things that you can just pop into the foam board to make, um, you know, terrain stuff. So let's see, I've got, I mean, just so much of this stuff. I've literally been collecting this stuff for years, wanting to do projects like this. And then these are, um, same thing, like this is from, you know, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, like those kind of places, Tuesday morning or whatever. Um, the, the, uh, or if you go to the thrift store, if you go to the thrift store, a lot of times they will have plastic plants and they'll have them for pennies, you know? Um, well, maybe not pennies, but anyway, so I'm just gonna go go nuts with this stuff and start sticking stuff in to these. So like th these um, uh, trunk pieces, you know, they're really hard to do. Seam line scraping in here. So what you can do is just take a, take a lighter, <laughs> and then kind of hold it like close. And don't, you know, don't light it on fire, but the, um, that'll just like kind of soften the, or it'll uh, get rid of those so that they're, they aren't quite as noticeable. And it's a lot easier than just like, than like scraping it. Okay, so first off, <laughs> uh, big old pile of this stuff. I'm gonna focus on like the, the ground cover stuff first, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop trees in, you know, on top of that. 
So I'm gonna take some degreaser, and then um, I like this stuff, uh, uh, LA's totally awesome. Uh, this, you know, you get this stuff at the dollar store, and it's a dollar for a thing like this, and it's way better. It works um, great, way better than like Simple Green or any of that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a, um, I'm just gonna take this stuff, you know, and pop it in here, and then kind of like scrub it a little bit with a, a toothbrush. And then I'm gonna put it, um, have a little, you know, screen thing over here. So I'm just gonna pop them in there and then I'm gonna rinse them out in the sink later. Trying to, trying to escape. So this is just so that like paint and, you know, um, whatever else uh, will stick to this. So that's gonna get rid of any of that residue or, you know, stuff that would um, like mold release. And I mean, if you're happy, if you if you just wanna make some, some like terrain stuff and then just stick it down, you know, go ahead. I'm just gonna, I just figure if I'm gonna do it, you know, I'm gonna put in the extra effort and get these, um, make it nice. All right, so I uh, I had like a, a sink full of, of plastic plants, you know? And I had one of those like, what am I doing with my life moments? And then I'm like, yeah, shut up. You've, you've never been so happy. Um, I'll post a picture, but uh, okay. So what I did was I just grabbed a, a handful of, um, you know, stuff out of here and then I'm like, uh, it's growing on me just not having it painted because it's, it's terrain, you know, like it's going to get beat up. And then if I want to, I can, uh, pull the plants out and stuff and redo it later. I'm glad I did get them with the degreaser though, because it kind of took some of the gloss off of some of this stuff. It looks a little more natural now. Um, so anyways, yeah, and then like these, um, this is from, um, this is like more of the aquarium stuff. And then these like pop onto something and, uh, and then uh, it like has a little mat that goes under the aquarium gravel, but I can like, uh, you know, make, um, make other little plants out of those that look cool. So now what I want to do is, um, I think I am, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just stick this stuff in. I'm not gonna paint it at all. Feels weird to do a project like this, and not do any painting. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a, um, a little bit of PVA glue like that. And then just, uh, oh, yeah, that's not gonna go in. You need to look a little hole for it. So, yeah, now I'm just gonna kind of go around like that and I'm gonna just, uh, just do that and then, like, I, I like using a little pair of scissors like this to um, uh, kind of trim things down. Like um, if, uh, like with these guys, you know, I kind of wanna, I wanna break these down a little bit so that they aren't um, like just a mass of, um, these into smaller plants and then the same thing with the uh, if 
I can find any. The, oh, like these, um, this stuff from the big plastic plants. You can just kind of break these down and turn them into like vines, you know? glue on there and then pop it in. Okay, so, uh, you know, with just a bunch of like aquarium plants and like, you know, a mix of all this stuff around in there. That's how it looks. And then um, what I have here, this is, um, this is scenery glue. So this is just like, it's, it's just kind of like watered down uh, PVA glue. And then it has a little bit of dish soap in it to kind of help it run, run into the recesses. Um, a little surfactant. And I just have a mini out to check for scale. You know, like, that's some serious bush, you know? Okay, so anyways, um, what I want to do now is I want to kind of cut, I want to seal all of this down. I want to seal the, the tea leaves down. And then um, I uh, I have other, other um, like, flocking stuff to make up the um, ground cover. So this is just, you know, kind of looks like dirt and like dead leaves and stuff. But I want to put some like um, bracken, you know, like things that are growing on the uh, jungle floor. So I'm going to grab some of that stuff. Um, and I am going to seal this stuff down. So I'm just, I'm just kind of spraying it on there. And then another way that you can do it, like this is rough and ready. Um, you can take like a... Uh, um, a pipette and um, just do it that way too. We have a little more control and like just kind of, you know, drip it in like where you, where you want it. Um, you, you may notice that I'm not that patient. That's not so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna squirt some some scenery glue on there, right? And then I'm gonna sprinkle flocking down into the uh, the floor area. Um, what else do I have? <laughs> uh, I have um, <clears throat> uh, clump foliage, and then this is uh, this is uh, foam. It's like um, you can make your own stuff like this is it's just has these like, like little kind of clumps of uh, foam that's uh, that's been dyed and so like you know I'm gonna like jam some of that in there and uh, I just kind of want to like stick them in there uh, and then like if there's glue around the little bases where things got glued in and that's totally fine and then you can take some more of the scenery glue and kind of drip it in there and that's gonna stick everything down and it's also going to like seal this um seal everything so then i've got some dried uh moss and uh you know again like Hobby Lobby, uh, Michaels, those kind of places. Check their little floral arranging sections. Got dried moss. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just kind of jam it in there. And some spots to kind of 
simulate some ground cover. And then I also have um, a fine flock. So then this stuff is gonna look like, more like grass. Just show you. And this stuff comes in different colors and uh, different, you know, thicknesses and stuff. Um, but that's starting to look pretty good. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, it's the next day again. <laughs> these are uh, these are dry. Um, so I'm still working on this one, and um, <clears throat> I think I might do some other stuff, like uh, I might put put rocks in and stuff like going forward. But I really like these. I think they look really cool. I love the um, the pops of color, you know, from the um, the aquarium plants kind of mixed in there with the, the green leafy stuff. Um, <clears throat> I just love how it looks. So, and then also these are like, these are so solid. Like this is sealed down. This stuff isn't going anywhere. It's uh, it's pumped full of that the scenery glue and then you can see that it dries um, like a uh, matte and non-gloss so uh so yeah um i'm kind of glad that i didn't paint them the the plastic because i think that would just be a lot you know um to i, I want to get this stuff on the table so i can play with it so anyways yeah i think that's gonna be it you guys and then yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourselves